Failover can be accomplished using Virtual Boot. Virtual Boot can use Oracle's VirtualBox, Microsoft's Hyper-V, or VMware's vSphere to create a virtual machine using a ShadowProtect backup image chain as the virtual hard disk. Start the Virtual Boot wizard using any of the following methods. From within ShadowProtect, from the menu bar, select Tools Virtual Boot. Click the Virtual Boot icon, or select an image file from within Image Chain Browser, and then click on the Virtual Boot icon. From your Image Store, right-click on an image and select StorageCraft Virtual Boot. Starting Virtual Boot initiates the Virtual Boot Wizard, which guides you through the Virtual Boot process. This process includes selecting a backup image and the desired hypervisor, as well as other configuration options necessary for the hypervisor selected. If needed, script the virtual boot process using command line options. Note, the virtual boot executable is found in the program files folder. Important, additional command line options are also required, including the hypervisor, disk type, and password. Run Virtual Boot from a command prompt for a full list of the command line options required. With the Virtual Boot wizard started, follow these steps to virtualize a backup image. Select the backup image. Depending on how Virtual Boot was started, the image may already be selected. Select the Microsoft Hyper-V hypervisor. Configure the virtual machine. This includes configuring the machine name, the number of CPUs required for this VM, and the amount of RAM required. In addition, you have the option to automatically start the VM after the virtual boot process is complete. In some cases, additional configurations may be required from within Hyper-V Manager, in which case you will not select this option. Once the virtual boot process is complete, click the Dismiss button. After exiting the virtual boot wizard, you can open the Hyper-V Manager to make any additional changes required such as network adapter settings. To use Virtual Boot with VirtualBox, select the base image and the incremental image from the Image Chain browser. Select the Virtual Boot icon. Use the Virtual Boot wizard to add any additional volumes, select VirtualBox, and configure the virtual machine settings regarding the number of CPUs, the amount of RAM, and the type of network adapter. At this point, the VM is created, VirtualBox is started, and the VM is added to VirtualBox. Adjust network, system, and display settings if needed, and start the VM. To fail over with Virtual Boot, some configuration is required before the system is ready to use. Follow this process to get consistent results. Change the network adapter settings in VirtualBox from Network Address Translation, or NAT, to Bridged Adapter. This allows remote connections to the VM. Power on the VM and change the IP address to the one used by the failed system. In the ShadowProtect console, enable the backup jobs for this system. Jobs for a system are automatically paused when one of its backup image files is loaded into Virtual Boot. And install Hypervisor Guest Editions. Virtual Boot can run as the production system while a bare metal restore is started on a replacement system. The manual HSR process is used to perform a bare metal restore. Delete the Virtual Boot VM when finished using it for failover. This will clean up the migration files used to convert the GUID in the backup chain. To receive credit for this session, close the current browser tab, not the entire browser. This will return you to the Academy for additional e-learning.